Myself inside your weary eyes, and how long must I sing these songs of sorrow? And what's the trick to get the darkness out? Cause I've been singing now for hours, hoping for some special time. Teach me all the things that I can do to bring you back. And I sing these hymns to call you in. And I shout these songs to let you go. And I use my voice to fill the space that I am. Space I do not know. And how deep can I dig into your past to hold on tight and hope that it will? You were drifting, now you're gone. You were weak and now you're strong. Teach me all the things that I can say to bring you back. Show me signs to let me know that I will be okay. Self for sadness, bomb for this mess I sift through. Every day, you are arrows tipped with pine, shot through chests and left behind. And on the forest floor, where I will wait till you come home. And I sing these hymns to call. I shout these songs to let you go And I use my voice to fill the space that I am in It's a space I do not know It's a space I do not know It's a space I do not know Thank you. That's Thanks for beautiful. having us. Thanks for playing Arrows. Tell me a bit about that track and how that one came about. I actually wrote that song on the way to England on, about two tours ago, funny enough. I was on the train from Calais uh, coming to, uh, to Dover, I guess. And, uh, or wherever that goes to, I'm not sure. Anyways, but I was, I was, when I was on the train, Sylvie was asleep. It was just the two of us on tour. And um, I was looking at myself in, when we were in the tunnel of the reflection of myself in the windows of the train and just kind of thinking of my, the whole new record is about my father who passed away and so I've been kind of I'm over the last three years doing a bunch of soul searching and while I was on the train I was looking at my reflection and trying to see myself or trying to see him in, in my the way I look and stuff of like that and trying to see if I could kind of picture him as a younger person in that reflection and was that's how that song kind of got started exploring these ideas of like how long it's going to take me to process this kind of grief and yeah. 
stuff, so that's what it's been. It must be an intensely personal record. Yeah. How has that been coming over to the UK and stuff, coming over to Europe, playing it live? It's, well, yeah, when I made the record, I felt, I felt when the record was finished that I'd, like, I'd made it through. I was just like, oh, it was a really good thing. I mean, I got to explore all of these, like, my relationship with my father really deeply. And so that was really good for me in, like, a therapeutic kind of way. And when I finished the record, I was like, oh, great, I've done the record. Like, I've got this off my chest. Not never thinking that I would have to go and tour it for, like, a year or two. And so it's been really difficult. It hasn't been the most enjoyable thing to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm surrounded by my, we're touring as a seven piece, and so I'm surrounded by my friends, and it's like pretty amazing, but every single night, I kind of walk off the stage a little bit stunned, and yeah, I can't say it's the most fun thing. Yeah. It feels powerful to do it, but it's, but it's not, yeah, it's not enjoyable. <laughs> so I guess you're probably raring to go on the next record. I am, actually, yeah, I wrote, I wrote, I've wrote a record since this one that's like recorded that I need to like do some more work on, but it's pretty much done, so. How's it sounding? It's more upbeat. Yeah. <laughs> happy. Yeah. I don't know if it's happy, but it's like definitely like more, it's less heavy for yeah, sure. Yeah, less so. heavy, heavy going. Let's talk about the video for Dead Deer. There's a lot of nakedness in it. Yeah, there is. And I love it. It's kind of a whimsical and tasteful. There must have been some awkward moments though, right? They gave us these like skin colored like underwear to wear as opposed to being naked. And eventually after five minutes, we were like, we're just going to get naked because this is ridiculous looking. Because they kept being like, pull down your underwear farther, pull down your underwear. <laughs> so we were pretty much naked. So we ended up just like, yeah, swimming naked. And it turned out to be, it was freezing cold, but it was like so much fun because yeah. there was these huge waves and, and we ended up having a blast. We had sleeping bags on shore. So like between shots, we would go and like lie in sleeping bags. Yeah. And uh, it turned out really good. Must have been quite a liberating experience just getting a kit up. Yeah, in front of strangers too. I mean, we didn't know the film crew at the time. Yeah. There was like four or five of them and we we're just like, I mean, cold water does certain things to the anatomy. <laughs> so it's got a, kind of a little bit embarrassing, but yeah, yeah, it was, it was fun. We were really happy with the way it turned yeah, out. Yeah, so. it was a great video. Thanks. Okay. I must confess that yesterday I recorded the, uh, the choral service at Westminster Abbey last, last evening, illegally under my scarf at the back, in the back pew in the church. You were drifting, now you're gone. You were weak, and now you're strong. 